Hi everyone. I haven't managed an update in a couple days, so I'll concentrate on that today. It was a rough weekend in a number of ways, including a trip to the emergency room. No, I wasn't the one with the issue. And a couple rounds of my old friend depression. On top of that, I was dealing with the move from my normal diet to a keto-friendly diet, which is a challenge. I guess I'll start with the trip to the emergency room. One of my children spent a little too long in the sun on Saturday. The temperature here in Tucson was over 80, even though it's still February. And it was a little too much for them. They fainted, and when they did, they fell straight into the sidewalk and bashed their head a bit. The paramedics had to be called, but at least we didn't need an ambulance. We just had to drive them to the emergency room and let the doctors run some tests. All the tests came back pretty close to normal, but my kid hates needles, and they ended up getting stuck with several of them since the nurses couldn't seem to find a vein. Suffice to say, not a fun day for my kid or for the rest of the family. I didn't hit my numbers or even come close that day. Depression has been a factor as well. I can't describe what depression feels like for other people, but for me it feels like I've slightly detached from the world. There's a cloud over my brain and I have a hard time doing everyday activities, such as making these videos. My drive to do things just collapses. It's been coming on for a while, so I'm not going to blame the change to keto, but that probably didn't help. As for the first few days of keto, it's been okay, but about as fun as you'd think cutting out most of the foods in your life would be. I've kept it up, but I've also had trouble hitting what I think are reasonable calorie counts. They've been a bit low. It isn't that I'm starving myself so much as that trying to shovel a bunch of fat into my mouth is not super pleasurable. I do like meat, and I don't mind eating it, but I've got a 16-ounce limit on my protein, so I can't fill up on meat. That leaves fat. Heavy cream, cream cheese, sour cream, ranch dressing, butter, and such. I can also eat vegetables, and I have been, but the kind of vegetables I'm allowed don't exactly drive up the calorie count. I had celery this morning, three stalks, and that equals a total of 17 calories. A cup of lettuce is 5 calories. Six mini cucumbers is 67 calories. Two cups of raw spinach is 25 calories. I can't count on non-starchy vegetables for more than a few calories. Fat has to make up the rest. I can literally have as much fat as I want, but I don't really want that much. I did make an executive decision to go back to my no sugar added peanut butter, even though it isn't on their approved list. It only adds 4 grams of carbs for every 200 calories, and I've yet to go over my 30 gram limit on carbs for the day, so I'd rather be eating something I like. That's where I'm at today. Let's look at a few of the numbers. For the past three days, my calories consumed were 2,092, 1,504, and 1,884. All three of those days involved eating out. I'm pretty sure if I'd just stayed home, the calories would have been even lower. On Friday, I walked 11,638 steps and burned 1,044 active calories. That was pretty good. On Saturday, I walked 4,280 steps and burned 504 active calories. That was the day of the trip to the emergency room. Even when I got home, I just didn't feel like doing anything. On Sunday, I walked 10,421 steps for 996 active calories. I felt just a bit short of my uh, 1,000 calorie goal, but it was pretty close, so I'm not going to sweat it. My weight this morning was 300.4 pounds. I'm getting very close to dropping out of the 300 club into the 200 club, but not quite yet. Fingers crossed I can do it by the end of the month. It's a good thing there's an extra day. One of the new things I'm tracking is ketones. These are the markers that indicate I'm in ketogenesis, which means I'm burning fat instead of sugar as my primary fuel source. My high so far has been 0.4 ketones, which puts me in the moderate category. Ideally, I need between 0.5 and 3, but I'm new, so it's going to take me a few days to get to that level. My blood sugar counts the past three days were 131, 115, and 111. None of them are terrible numbers, but none of them are great either. I'll be keeping a close eye on this in the coming days. The hope is that not eating carbs will reduce these numbers. That's it for today. I'll leave you with my Sir Terry Pratchett quote of the day. This one is for moving pictures. The whole of life is just like watching a film, only it's as though you always get in 10 minutes after the picture has started, and no one will tell you the plot, so you have to work it out for yourself with all the clues. That's it for today. Please like, please subscribe, please comment, and I'll see you tomorrow.